Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1038. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to see an amazing trick to make absolute table references using the actual table formula nomenclature that you'd find in an Excel table. Now, actually, in the last uh, few videos, I've actually covered this topic. In 1024, we saw how to use tables and the, and the dynamic ranges that come with tables. And we made our absolute cell references with cell references. And we saw a little trick there. In 1037, we saw how to make absolute table references with the copy and paste feature. But in this video, 1038, we want to see how to make absolute table references with the table formula nomenclature. And it involves using a colon and double square brackets. Now, this trick comes, these two sites here list this totally amazing trick, excelcampus.com and blogs.technec.com. Those two links there. You can uh, download the workbook and click on these, and they're also on the screen. Go check this out, but here it is. Now here, we already have a table down here with some transaction, and here's our field names. We need to add in this table up here. Now this is the same example we used in those two previous videos, but here, we need to add with two criteria. So right here, we need to find all the dogs who are FIDO and the accessories and add the amount. So right here, here are the amounts. FIDO, accessories, we need to get those two numbers. So we have two criteria. I'm going to use the sum ifs with an s function. Now our sum range, we can simply highlight. And notice it puts in the table name. I actually named this table. This isn't table 1, table 2. It's dog transactions. And there's the field name amount. But that won't work. As we saw in our last two uh, videos, if you copy it, using your fill handle and your mouse, it these ranges will be uh, relative, not absolute. Now we saw a copy and paste trick, but I want a formula that will work no matter how I copy it. And so here's how you do it. You have your field name there, but you got to put a second square bracket around here. And check this out. I want to go from amount colon square bracket a tab n square bracket, n square bracket. And you got to be kidding me. There's this great trick we learned from these two blocks here. You just got to put field name colon field name in square brackets. Now that's the sum range. I can say criteria range. And I'm going to look at this dog category. So I see the dog. I hit D tab, square bracket, colon, square bracket, D, tab, N square bracket, N square bracket. And that's for the criteria range, comma, criteria. Well, here's our criteria. As we copy down, it needs to move relatively put to the side. It needs to be locked. So I hit the F4 one, two, three times, comma, our final field from this table that needs to be absolute is category here. So I'm going to say C, tab close square bracket, colon, open square bracket, C tab, square bracket, square bracket. you got to be kidding. Three times in one formula, we made that absolute using table formula nomenclature with that colon and those square brackets, comma. And here's our criteria here. This one needs to be copied when we're going down, but not to the side. So I hit F4 twice, close parentheses, Control Enter. And it doesn't matter if you drag with the mouse, Control Z, Z, or as we did um, when we didn't use this cool trick, Control V, Control C, Control V, Control V, or even Control Z, 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 we could highlight. And if we had that cell in edit mode, we could Control Enter. Absolutely, totally cool. It's fun to be hanging out on a big online Excel team, thanks to these two websites here. We'll see you next trick.